Hey folks, welcome back to Stuff I Kind of Care About. I'm Danny, and today we're going to do a little DIY gel frame. Uh, I recently picked up some lights, and they were a little bit too cool on the spectrum, so I was using uh, a little bit of amber cellophane over the top of them to try and warm up the tone of the room a little bit. I'm enjoying it. I've got one right up there. So... We're going to go ahead and get in and show you guys how I make my own gel frame, and it's super simple. So what I took is a piece of foam core. Uh, get this at Walmart. I bought the sheet. It is four times this big, uh, and I went ahead and cut it into quarters because I can get a gel frame out of each one of these. Now, I know that my light is five inches around so I want to go ahead and account for that. I like that I'm looking over there for a writing implement when I have my pen holder right there. So the first thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> this is 10 inches. So I'm going to measure on the half here. And I'm going to measure on the half right up top. And then we're just going to draw a line. Essentially, all I'm doing at this point is trying to find my center point because I'm going to use a compass to draw my layout circle. So now we're going to do the same thing on this. And this is... should be seven and a half inches. Yep. So we're going to go for seven and a half, so that's three and three quarters inches. And one thing you'll figure out pretty quick with measurements and stuff like this uh, you want to try to keep all of your measurements from one side. I usually will pick a factory edge. I did not pick a factory edge on this one, so we'll see how straight this turns out. We're going to draw this line here, and that's a simple center point for us. The reason the center point is important is because we'd like to have a nice circle for this. The reason I'm using foam core is it gives you a good bit of security, uh, some rigidity to it. And also, it has almost a gloss finish to it. So if you want to, you can color this. You can even get the black colored foam core. Uh, that doesn't have the gloss finish as often. And I want to be able to use masking tape on this and be able to peel it off so I can actually replace gels and just set this up on my light so that I can actually get different styles of viewing. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to take my compass, uh, I have a, a spring tension compass, so it's automatically holding out as far as it can go. I would say invest in that. I'm putting the pointy end at zero, and I'm just going to get the pencil end to two and a half inches, which is the radius of my five inch diameter circle. And then, I'm just going to pop this right on my center mark. And then the cool thing about this is I can actually move the foam core if it will move. This stuff is sticking to my cutting mat like crazy. It's almost like it's creating some sort of like suction there. And I'm not a huge fan of that. But anyways, this is what we're doing right now. So I've got that done. Basically... I could cut this out and I could leave this as big as it is. I personally don't like having this much extra space, but you may want that if you have a bigger gel that you want to use, then that'll allow you to tape larger gels onto a smaller uh, gel filter. Alright, so I have cut the hole in the center and I went ahead and attached one of these legs. I'm going to show you how I'm doing the other one. If you'll notice, I have a lamp here to show you on. And uh, right here off camera, I've got my amber cellophane. That stuff you can usually find in the gift wrapping area. Uh, it's just a couple of bucks for a roll. It's not that expensive. So this is not super professional style lighting rigs. This is just, you're on a budget, you need to get it done. This is a $10 lamp. This is a $4 roll of cellophane, which I can make dozens of things from. 
This is a buck seventy-five in foam core and a little bit of duct tape because I felt like, or duct tape, because I felt like getting a little creative with it. So what I'm doing to create this little hinge here is I'm actually starting with this all the way folded back, attaching the duct tape to the front, and then actually adhering it to where I want that joint to be, just so that it's got the flexibility to go all the way back if it wants to. And that way, I'll be able to take this thing and I'll be able to mount it like this. And then if you look on the sides, these are the wings. So, that's that simple. Um, also, this is probably not going to work for anything that's super high temp. I'm using LED bulbs in here, so it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, with my cellophane now, I'm going to actually cut this into five and a half inch pieces. I already have it cut five and a half inches this way. I'm going to just rip it this way. And it does not have to be perfect. We just want it to work, right? So you could leave it whole if you want to. Um, you can have it separate. I'm going to cut one of them, and then I'm going to fold the other one. And then, all you're going to want to do, and for me, I'm just going to use a little bit of scotch tape just to hurry this process along so that this doesn't take, you know, five years. I don't feel like you guys want to watch me sit here and struggle with this thing for forever. And no, I don't have the light plugged in, so if you want to see what the light looks like once you've done this to it, you're going to have to do this yourself. Does that mean, should I show you what this looks like? I don't know. But yeah, so that's that simple. And then I would just take masking tape to attach it if I were doing that permanently. Since I'm not doing it permanently, I'm going to let myself cheat and use a little bit of scotch tape. Just so I can show you folks what this is going to look like. Ta-da! Alright, now, this comes over here. Let it sit reasonably sturdy, and then just run your tape right along it. And that is a pretty simple gel. This is not the best job in the world, uh, but I can tell you right now, if you're in a pinch and you need a gel, this is a heck of a lot better than not having anything. And this was about a 20 minute project, and that's because I was explaining it. Uh, if I were just trying to crank a few of these out for some light effects on site somewhere, this, I could probably crank one of these out in about five minutes, especially because I, I know I've done it a few times. But yeah, it does a simple lighting effect, and now this is going to give you an amber light. Obviously, the more of this cellophane that you were to apply, the darker that's going to be, or the more tint it's going to add. So if you throw red on there, if you throw blue, whatever you're trying to do. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to everybody that's commenting and subscribing. You are seriously the best. You're making this way too much fun for me. I'm going to keep making videos, keep doing ridiculous stuff and trying to have fun with this. Please, let me know what you're thinking about doing. Uh, Sunday, like, uh, like Lucas commented, he and I are going to be doing a, a book video. I'll be uploading that on Monday. I think I'm going to try to go to a Thursday-Monday upload schedule just to try to get some consistency. And, uh, and we'll see where we go from there. Thanks again. Please be in touch and continue to be wonderful to yourselves. I'll see you later.